It's collecting most of it. Nice, fresh rainwater loaded with carbonic acid that the plants love. There's some basil that we've managed to get going. It's doing okay. Robert already came in here and watered stuff this morning, but I'll give it some more. Give it some more of the good rainwater type stuff. There's some cauliflower got going. The others wouldn't germinate. This is broccoli. Sorry, George Bush. I love broccoli. It's good stuff. Okay. These are Brussels sprouts. Now everybody out here has said they've not been able to get Brussels sprouts to grow. These are slow going, but they're going. We'll see what happens with them. Tomatoes are doing okay. Not growing as fast as I'd like, but oh well. More tomatoes. This is a cherry tomato plant. You can see a little cherry tomato on there. At least I hope you can. Let's see. Little cherry tomatoes. Okay. This is a uh, jalapeno that we've transplanted over here. We'll see how it goes. I'm having trouble. Here is some more. Here's some more peppers. Little tiny things. They've been seeds have been in the ground for a long time, and they're just now starting to do something. These are cabbage. I gotta get some more water. These are cabbage. These are just weed seeds that are coming up in them. I have to get those out. Um, yeah, these are cabbage. Doing okay. Came right up when we planted them. Continued to go fine. And uh, so, yeah, not unhappy with what they're doing there. That is a bottle gourd. And I probably ought to thin that out. Because um, we planted several seeds there. I want the best looking plant. To, I don't want them to compete too much. So I'm going to pull that one out. Hmm. I'll pull this one out. I'm going to leave two, two in there. Uh, but uh, yeah, these that is planted straight in the soil we have here locally. And uh, so we'll see how they do. Are there people up there? Are there? See them? Oh, yeah. Wave. I'm sure Hi, people. <laughs> it is snowing. Yeah, you have a good walk? Yes. It's not a very well marked trail. Half of it is. Yeah. And I'm not, I don't know that I could get back up, but it's pretty steep down there. So I'm not going to You'd get back it. up, but it'd just take you a couple days. Yeah, it might. <laughs> and with the shape I'm in right now. Nice view up here. Hope it's snow. Well, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? Uh, good morning. Getting out here, uh, tackling Dumpy some more. And uh, <clears throat> I found a wiring schematic. Uh, for this particular truck, well, and lots of trucks, this wiring's the same on a lot of them, uh, for this year. And uh, so, <clears throat> that's nice to have. It tells me the wire colors that I should be looking for and everything, and how they go together. So, that'll help me probably more under the dash uh, than it will out here, where it you know, seems pretty clear what should be connected. So, 
Um, I am uh, doing a little bit of electrical work on Dumpy today. At some point in Dumpy's past, the turn signal uh, was broken off and the horn uh, button came missing and the uh, the whole system was disconnected and this hooked up to it. This is a like a generic turn signal slash hazard um, thing that usually goes in large semi trucks, industrial trucks, stuff like that. They put this in to replace it and instead of using the existing wiring they strung new wire all the way through the truck everywhere <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> the the one thing they did though that appears for the most part they left the original wire harness intact which is kind of nice so that plugs into the back but no the um the old turn signal you know mechanism hazard mechanism for this was uh uh, damage beat up. I don't know. They broke off the. I don't know if they broke off the turn signal thing or what, but uh, needed uh, needed a new one. So I got a new one and I put it in. I put a new horn button on, and now I need to go through the truck and you know re reattach all the original wiring so that we can uh, get this thing more like how it should be. Instead of all these random wires stretched all the way around the truck, it's kind of weird. Well, here's a case of uh, best laid plans. <laughs> I was going to work on, uh, plan on working on Dumpy all day on Dumpy's lighting and stuff, but Robert was going to go somewhere and she said, truck's running rough. And uh, so I came out here, sure enough, it was running rough. And I thought it was a fuel filter that needed to be changed. And it did need to be changed. So got a tool, changed it, and it made the issue worse. Um, to the point where it won't run at all now. I can't start it. won't run. If it does, when it did run, it ran really rough. Like it wasn't getting enough fuel. Like it was starving or hunting for fuel. And uh, I checked everything. I've been through this whole thing. Checked the pumps. Checked the uh, tank uh, selector check the switch for that checked the uh this this vehicle this vintage doesn't have a uh a uh, camshaft or crankshaft sen uh, position sensor so sometimes those are an indicator uh, or cause trouble but this doesn't have those i checked the fuel pressure regulator check the fuel pressure everything's good um when the when the um when the pumps are running so i bypassed the car's computer to make sure the pumps are working right um did a what they call an obd test or an eec uh, test to see if i could find out if they're throwing any codes because the check engine light would come on and there were no codes so i did it a couple more times and then finally the obd uh, the car's computer stopped responding altogether so i'm thinking okay problem must be with the computer so i pulled it out of there and when when we did pull it out of there some water came pouring out of the bottom of that little compartment there so i'm thinking okay well the uh, onboard computer might have gotten wet uh but anyway so i pulled the computer pulled the computer apart pulled the lid off to look at it and inspect it and sure enough we have problems with this um, I don't know if, uh, you can see that on the camera, but I don't know. You see that orange staining there. That's from a leaking capacitor. This capacitor here is also leaking. And as you can see, there's a little transistor. Uh, where's my finger? A little transistor. Or, sorry. A little transistor or diode or something right there that's burned. Uh, underneath the where the capacitor is leaking over here. You can see a little green spot uh, and some darkening. That uh, could be that the capacitor is burning up. And there's another capacitor here. I can't tell if it's got uh, burning or it looks like burning, maybe some corrosion, but it's also leaking. Yeah, so this thing needs to be 
replaced and i have a feeling that little guy right there may be the reason uh why this uh engine won't run can't you what isn't this crazy little tiny diode or something like that um can do that it's just crazy 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 but uh thankfully they still make uh, these you can get a rebuilt one and sometimes a new one um, for about 200 bucks easy to install easy to pull out relatively um and uh, i don't see any evidence that oof, water got in here although you know i i guess i wouldn't be surprised if some did but the amount of water that poured out of there we